Hey friends! Okay, so today I am doing a video on kind of makeup basics. I've had a lot of questions lately about makeup because I really haven't done a tutorial for you guys lately. I've been mostly focusing on the skincare. So I wanted to do a base face quick video for you. This is going to go over everything you do before you do the fun stuff, like play with color, blush, lips, eyeshadow. So it's going to have um, sunscreen basics, it's going to have foundation and concealer as well. So if you're Hi friends. Okay, so first of all, it's important to start out with a good sunscreen. I just put the sunscreen on my face. I'm trying out this new one. It says for it says non-greasy, but it's giving me a little bit of acne. Um, so I may have to switch back to my old one. But let's talk about why sunscreen is important, even if you're not planning on going outside, okay? First of all, if you're using our skincare line, the Bellamy skincare line or anything clinical grade, it is extra, extra important to use a good sunscreen. Um, you're going to want that protection because clinical grade is going to speed over your skin cells um, turnover rate. It's going to make you a little bit more susceptible to the sun and burning. And we really want to prevent ourselves from aging, getting that hyperpigmentation, um, any of those early signs of fine lines and wrinkles. So sunscreen is going to be your biggest best friend for that. Now, I talk to a lot of people who think just because they're not going outside, they don't need to put on sunscreen. Recently, there have been studies showing that blue light from computer screens, iPads, um, phones, tablets, those all can contribute also to early signs of aging and sun damage. Um, so, even if you're not going outside, put on your sunscreen. I like an SPF 50 because I'm overly cautious, but you want to protect yourself at all times against those early signs. Okay, so your next step in getting a really great base face for your makeup is primer. Let's talk a little bit about why primer is so important. So primer is going to help um, create a really smooth surface for your foundation to wear on. It's going to allow your foundation to stay on a lot longer, help with filling in pores and fine lines so it wears a lot smoother, and just really give you a really great look. Now our all of our makeup is infused with skincare and our primers are no different. So we have two different primers. We have an illuminating primer and a mattifying primer. So both of these primers have water soluble vitamin C. So that helps protect again against the skin against free radicals as well as stimulate collagen production, helps with hyperpigmentation and um, also help maintain skin's hydration. They also both have baobab oil, which if you've heard me talk before, baobab oil is kind of a staple throughout our skincare and makeup. It's like a founding ingredient in our products, but basically baobab oil is a really great source of omega fatty acids. It helps with inflammation. So if you've got a lot of acne or just inflammation on the skin, it's gonna help calm that down as well as help um, reduce redness. Now, I will tell you a little bit about this one it has a couple different ingredients. This also has witch hazel in it, which this one does not. So if you're struggling with um, inflammation, the witch hazel will help with that as well. And the biggest difference in these, this one is illuminating, meaning it has a illuminating property, which I know that is like very self-explanatory, but I wanna show you just how illuminating it is. This one I love to wear when maybe I'm not wearing foundation because I really like that glow. Now, if you look at my face, thanks to my sunscreen, I am already very much glowing. So most of the time I will go in, if I'm going to be wearing um, some foundation with the mattifying just to help calm that down because our foundation is also full of great skincare ingredients. So I end up with a really great glow either way you look at it. So I'm gonna go in with the mattifying and just get that on my face. And, uh, oh, my face feels so smooth. I just used one of our sheet masks and I'm like, ooh. So you wanna let your primer set three to five minutes if you have the time. That's gonna give it time to absorb into the skin, really start to reduce the pore size, fill in any pores um, and fine lines and create that barrier for your foundation to lay on. Okay, so now I've made both eyes match. You can use this also as a highlight if you like to highlight and contour. You can get, you know, a little bit of highlight going on. You can use a darker color concealer for a contour if you really like to use concealers to do that. Um, it gives a really beautiful natural effect because they are really easily blendable. And that is pretty much the basics. Whoop. 
to our base face. You can set under the eyes if you would like with a little bit of powder. It is not totally necessary. I don't find that this product moves. However, if you have problem with that mascara pulling off onto your concealer, um, sitting with a... Okay, so I've got my foundation on. You can see it's adjusting a little bit more. Honestly, I'm a little bit more tight on my chest still, but I'm sure that will calm down soon since I just got back from Mexico. But we're going to go in with concealer next. I went ahead and did my brows um, in between just because I didn't want this video to be too long. If you would like a brow tutorial, you can drop that in the comments below. I'll make sure um, next time we can do a brow tutorial if you think that would be helpful. But we're going to do our concealer next. So this concealer... Um, is very, very buildable. This is my favorite concealer you've ever used, guys. And I will always be honest with you, if something is not my favorite, this is my favorite. Like, I cannot run out of this. And the reason it is my favorite has that Baobab oil and vitamin E. Um, under our eyes is notoriously a little bit thinner and drier than the rest of our face. So that extra moisture there is very, very helpful, especially if you like to sit with powder under the eyes. And it also has caffeine. So if you have any puffiness um, or you would just want to boost that circulation under the eye, this is going to be your best friend. So different people are going to use this different ways. Um, if you are getting up there in age where you're feeling like maybe we have that wrinkly, crepey situation and we don't want to make it worse, we just want to hide some dark circles, the best tip I have for you is to just do a little bit on the inner corner and then a little bit right out here. Take a wet blending bud, I did wet this now, and you can just blend it like this, okay? Use a little bit. If you need more, you can add more. It's easier to add product instead of trying to take product off. So you can do that, you can kind of assess. You see how much brighter that is and I hardly used anything. Now, if you're a little bit younger and you're not having that kind of issue, you can just go ahead and do kind of that YouTuber trick that we've all seen YouTubers do where they do the kind of the, um, the triangle situation. And so I don't know if you noticed, but both in both examples, I did some here and I did some right here. This is gonna help lift your eyes and give you that illusion of a lifted face, okay? So it's it's like coffee for the eyes, literally, because it has caffeine in it, but also pulling the product up like that. Just really helps lift the eye, hide any shadows you have under there, okay? And you're just gonna blend it out like that. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Um, if you have questions, please let me know, and please let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, I would love to hop back on. Maybe we could do an eyeshadow basic or something like that. But uh, yeah, let me know your opinions. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any sunscreen recommendations, I would really love that because I'm not feeling this one I'm using. So thanks, guys. Bye.